What's up guys, Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, make sure you leave a thumbs up and also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and if you're new yeah go ahead and check me out check out more of my videos and follow me on my instagram it will also be linked in the description last week i did do a giveaway um basically i did a video on the iphone 7 and i took some pictures with it and i put it posted them on my instagram and said hey if you get to the phone you get to win it so you never know what kind of things can happen there and my giveaways will be on instagram from now on so yeah make sure you're you're following me there and if you're interested and uh, okay so basically let's go ahead and get started with today's video uh that was a long introduction so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a second look at the galaxy a20 and usually with budget phones what happens is that over time they slow down and that, i guess that happens for most phones but budget phones take a bigger hit since they do have a lower end processor uh but yeah so we're going to take another look at the galaxy a20 and some things have uh, so some things have definitely changed um as far as uh from from what i did on the actual review so starting let's, let's go ahead and quickly give a summary over the specs so this is a 6.4 inch uh oled screen it is uh with a resolution of 1560 by 720 so only 720p and if you're worried about resolution from normal viewing distance you should be more than fine now if you get the phone close to your face then yeah you're gonna see pixels that's for sure but come on who does that uh, and also on the bottom you do have your headphone jack USB-C as well as your speaker and a microphone and on the back of the phone you do have your dual cameras so one of them is a 13 megapixel standard lens and the other one is a 5 megapixel wide angle camera you have a fingerprint sensor your Samsung logo and on the bottom you'll um, below the camera you have your LED flash and on the right hand side you do have your power button and your volume up and down the volumes actually tend to be more clicky and more tactile than the um, than the power button I noticed that uh, just recently so yeah and that's pretty much it uh, as far as actual specification goes this one does have an exynos 7884 chip with three gigabytes of ram and a nicely sized 4000 milliamp hour battery so um speaking of battery life battery life has been consistently good i have no complaints about it in that department the low resolution and the fact that it's oled which means that is a little bit more efficient when it comes to black backgrounds and since the pixels do turn off and there's no need for them um and since the, do, since the pixels do get turned off, uh, that really uh, adds up to a much better battery life in general. So a big battery, plus the fact that it's an old screen, uh, equals really a good, no not good, great battery life. So yeah, there's that for you. So let me quickly talk about the pros and cons. The pros um, is that this is a, a really nicely designed smartphone. Um, yeah, it is a low-end low budget phone but samsung did its job in making sure that it looks really nice um yeah so it, it, it's so okay so it is made entirely out of plastic which some might call cheap but i mean that has to be done that had to be done in order to keep it uh cost effective and also it still looks good it's made out of plastic yeah it still tries its best to resemble glass and a con with that is that it catches fingerprints like crazy so highly recommend the case and on the, on the front i do also recommend a screen protector since this um th there is no curved edges or anything like that so one drop on the floor it's over so yeah do definitely recommend the case and a screen protector for this phone also another pro of the design is that you still retain a headphone jack with which new samsung just which with the new Samsung and their flagships, they just, they just got rid of it. And yeah, so if you're still into the headphone jack thing, um, it's still around. The speaker on here is fine. It's not as good as the J lineup speakers. To me, the side speaker sounded better. Um, and I'll give you guys a sample listen to it and I'll talk about the camera and I'll summarize the video. So go in highest volumes. Oh, 
Okay, so overall, um, as far as speaker quality, like I said, it's good. It's not as good as the J lineup, but it's definitely good. And media consumption on this phone is actually really, really, really nice. Uh, apart from the resolution, which some people might consider a con, like I said, unless you get it this close to your face, you shouldn't have a problem with the resolution at all. Uh, but yeah, media consumption and uh, playing games on here is really nice. And speaking of games, high demanding games would be fine on this phone. And they're not gonna wow you or impress you, and you're not gonna be able to use ultra setting. Just keep that in mind for sure. Like if you play Call of, the Call of Duty game, the PUBG, Fortnite, whatever, um, keep your expectations at a minimum. And also, all right, so the other thing that I wanted to discuss is definitely the camera. And I did a camera review and also a speed test. So if you're more interested um, in the actual uh, results and actual numbers, they will uh, a video will be linked in the description. So as far as also camera quality, and also I did do a camera review, it will be linked in the description, but I'm just gonna summarize it right now. Um, it takes some fine pictures. It does uh, kind of go heavy. It, so it is a little, so it is sharp, detailed sometimes but at other times it does kind of be it is a little bit washed out and it's you and your luck basically uh the colors look decent the blues on this picture on, on this case uh, of the of the google pixel 3 look nice uh, it does a pretty decent job in blurring out the back background and this is standard lens this is the wide angle now there is definitely a loss in quality when it comes to wide to the wide angle but the reason it's placed is because of how fun it is so i enjoyed actually shooting in wide angle more than i did in the standard lens yeah there is a loss in quality but when you post it on social media and when you post it on social media it should be fine um and this is just another picture and this is what i mean by the colors are a little bit washed out if you look in the background the green are just eh they're not really as saturated as i would like them to be and hey remember how samsung is the uh is that really the company with that makes phones with saturated cameras this is not it and this is it with the wide angle lens so standard same position everything wide angle so yeah the wide angle is just more fun as far as selfie camera yeah it uh, it really goes off in the beauty mode and the dynamic range is just 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 sucks but yeah the beauty mode does soften up a lot of the picture and the, that that's to be expected and this is kind of the wide angle of the selfie camera it doesn't really have a secondary camera but it does use software for a wide angle look so overall the camera it's initially i was uh impressed when i did my camera review but i do have to say it's not it's not really gonna rival any flagships or any few year old flagships even. Um, it's definitely gonna be the camera that will get the job done, but that's to be expected with a low budget phone. And overall, to summarize this video in a package, the Galaxy A20, a few months later, is still one of my favorite low budget phones. Um, not to say that it's a cheap phone or it's a bad phone or anything like that. I say it's my favorite because of a couple of reasons. One is this screen to body ratio, it's really nice. The camera is, okay it's good enough to post on social media the speed of it is also fine um and overall as a package as a phone it's good it's good it's definitely one of my favorites the speaker is all right and you still have a headphone jack if you want to use it it does support quick charge via USB-C. the battery is big and overall a lot of positive things to say when it comes to this phone a few months later so yeah i didn't want to make this video too long i didn't want to really i didn't want it to go past 10 minutes so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions go ahead and ask me down in the description i will definitely answer them um actually if you ask if you ask them on instagram i answer faster just because um so if you have any questions ask me on my instagram i'll answer them really quickly and yeah i want to end it here so i want to thank you all so much for watching this one like i said if you're new make sure you leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and it shouldn't take you that long anyway and check out more of my videos so thank you all so much for watching and i will definitely catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching